Hi, good morning and welcome to today's Products in Focus. And for an interesting start to the week has been with most global equity markets managing to rally really, really hard yesterday and they're still continuing that upwards momentum today. All eyes will of course be on crude oil price which is just shot up like a rocket, moving higher yesterday and further again today on news of a secret meeting, apparently a secret meeting in Doha between Saudi Arabia and Russia. Now, it's very, very likely that not a lot will come from this particular set of meetings. Uh, but you never know. So don't be on the wrong side of that move. It's a, it could be a little bit of a tough time today uh, if you're currently short on crude and they come out with some sort, of, uh, some sort of deal there to cut production. Highly, highly unlikely, but it's one of those things I'm not sure I would necessarily take that risk. Um, though most commentators, as I said, are expecting it not really to come to much because of all the competitive advantage aspects. Saudi Arabia are still after more market share and it's all very, very political at the end of the day. So. There are also uh, rumblings of the consequences of all this monetary policy decision making by the ECB. Um, and uh, what we're actually beginning to see now is that bond futures are beginning to accelerate higher. Now, what's kind of really quite unusual about that is the actual acceleration higher in the bond futures in, in Europe is actually way higher than the moves we've seen recently in the DAX as well. So for them to move, uh, to, for them to kind of go in opposite directions like that, is, a, is highly unusual and that could have further ramifications further on down the line, unintended consequences. And of course, right across the world, um, most uh, kind of governments are, are involved in kind of talking a good game um, in regards to trying to weaken currencies and uh, kind of play the market, you know, say we, we, we might do QE, we might do interest rate cuts, you're getting it just now in the UK as well um, with the last central banker uh, or the last uh, kind of member of the Bank of England kind of um, moving away from his, uh, his interest rate rise position and saying, well, actually, I could even be looking at an interest rate, uh, interest rate cut. And that's had a bit of an impact on, on, on the pound as well. But again, it's just all talk. It's a bit of smoke and mirrors. People aren't actually acting on this. They're just hoping that their talk is enough to um, give the mar market that little bit of guidance because they really just don't want to act. That's the problem. And... Um, what we're kind of seeing uh, right across the financial markets today is a little kind of breath of relief after last week's horrendous, uh, horrendous kind of sell-off. And a lot of that has come down to the fact that China came back from their uh, kind of Lunar New Year period there uh, without an excessive sell-off. You actually had the Nikkei jump about 7.2%. That was yesterday. So collective side of relief. The thing is, nothing has really changed. Not really, there's not been some massive bit of macro data that's come out that's really just kind of transformed the whole financial markets. So just be very, very careful out there. Uh, don't get caught on the wrong side of any well price swings. But anyway, that gives you an idea as to the common themes of the market. I gotta say that a little bit of pessim pessimism in regards to this current rally, but you never know, things might keep on going. But I'm a technical, technical analyst from that perspective, so we're actually gonna go ahead and have a look at the core level. So without further ado, let's have a look at the US 30. So this gives you an idea of where we are from a technical perspective. We are trading above that 21 period SMA. We're still miles away from any potential resistance on the US 30. 76% of CMC market clients are short. 16.4, 60 is the potential resistance. The other technicals are relatively neutral. Moving on to the UK 100, three advancing soldiers right here with the three massive green candles there. Bullish crossover on the MACD. We're trading above that 21 period SMA. 78% of CMC market clients are currently short, anticipating that this rally will, will founder. Um, you might get short-term potential resistance at 59.47 and we're still in the sloping potential trend line down. Moving on to Japan 225, you can just see that huge move that we had yesterday, albeit we are off the session uh, highs. Obviously, um, it's actually a holiday in America yesterday, so that's why some of the, some of the markets are uh, kind of reacting slightly different this morning. But nevertheless, we do have, um, we have been higher this morning in Japan 225, 16,384, again off the session highs. Uh, this could look like there's a kind of a rejection of a move higher and we're getting closer and closer to that 21 period SMA. 77% of CMC market clients are currently long, so they're anticipating a further increase in Japan 25. We're also quite close to getting a bullish crossover on the MACD. Moving on to Japan, uh, to dollar yen, very strong bounce, almost a tweezer bottom there that we would have had on, uh, on dollar yen. That was on, um, 
on Thursday and Friday last week. Strong bounce again uh, yesterday. Doji formation today. We're quite a good bit away from potential resistance at 16,000. 67% of CMC Markets clients are currently short. It's a tough one right now. You're not really close to any potential resistance. So dollar yen is not really that exciting at this stage. It's all about West Texas crude today, of course, because we do have the secret meeting in Doha to look forward to. We are trading above that 21 period SMA. Breaking above that looks to be we're taking our head just above this potential sloping uh, negative trend line. Other technicals are relatively neutral, but obviously if the fundamentals come out, you would be looking at uh, 33. At the tip of that candle, 33, 34. You could be looking all the way at 35 if things go really crazy today, um, but there would have to be some sort of major deal breakthrough between Russia and Saudi Arabia for that to happen. But obviously the markets are not taking any chances in case that does. Moving on to gold. Gold had a spectacular fall from grace after this massive move to the upside right there as kind of risk on kind of returns to the market. So it sold off really aggressively. Three, three black crows may be coming here, but a perfect bounce of 1,191, which is the high there in October to where we are right now. This could be a very strategically important level. If we break, if we close, if we break and close below that, you might be accelerating towards the uh, 21 period SMA or failing that, 1,131. So that's currently where we are on the yellow metal. Very, very interesting one to trade. 71% of CMC market clients are currently long. Moving on to Euro dollar, also having a strong uh, reversal as Mario Draghi comes out again to say he'll do whatever it takes um, to support the Eurozone economy. Uh, and that includes lots of QE, blah, 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 blah. Uh, Euro, of course, reacts completely on his words because some traders just don't take, uh, just take what he says for granted without any action. So he's happy with that. 1,000, uh, sorry, 1 spot 11, 0 5 is the next potential support level. 75% of CMC markets clients are currently short. They obviously think that Draghi's voice is enough to drag this back down. We are seeing a little bit of an increase in the US dollar strength as well. Um, but since we broke out this triangle formation, um, the euro had catapulted higher and now it's retreating back down. But 1.1105 is a strategic level to watch. And then finishing up with GBP USD, 80% of our clients are currently long. Um, kind of interesting areas here because you've got that it's consolidating quite close to that 21 period SMA, but also close to 1 spot 4352. Uh, there has been a rejection of breaking above 1 spot 45. 65, you can just see it right there multiple times it's tried to break through and it's been unable to do so. So let's finish up with having a quick look at the market calendar. What is due out? Well, you don't want to, if you're trading Euro dollar, you don't want to forget about the ZEW business report. Okay, you do have a CPI from uh, the Euro, from the UK. Tomorrow, you've got employment data from the UK, housing starts, industrial production from the US. And then on Thursday, you've got Chinese CPI, employment claims from the US, and of course, you don't want to forget about the, uh, the weekly petroleum sales, which are actually coming on a Thursday rather than a Wednesday. Uh, but that will, that will change over the next couple of weeks. And we might as well have a quick look at Friday as well. UK retail sales, US CPI, and finishing up the week with consumer confidence flash CCI from the Eurozone. So certainly that hopefully gives you a, a bit of an idea as to the common themes in the market. Very good luck with your trading, guys, and join me again tomorrow to find out what happened next. Thank you very much, and goodbye.